Today is the day. We are starting a brand new career mode in Stormworks. This one is going to actually have the research tree. It is going to be hardcore, so if we die, we are dead and the career mode is over. And hopefully it will go well from there. Last time it actually corrupted, so we can't continue with that one. But um, yeah, I have high hopes for this one. Hopefully we can do well. So today we're going to start off by rescuing that little... Is that a dog? Is it... A Yes, that little dog down there. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and build ourselves a starter boat. So let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Also, just out of the corner of my eye, I looked out there and I was like, is that the oil refinery? I think I've accidentally chose a seed with the oil refinery out there. If you guys want to know the seed, it is 696969. There you go. Hello, little doggy. Hello. All right, come with me. I am stealing you, and I am putting you in a building forever. I'm sorry. Okay, I've trapped you inside. Goodbye. Goodbye. He should be in there somewhere. Um, if you guys want to give the dog a name, uh, write it in the comments down below. But anyway, it is now time to actually start building our first boat. How is this going to go? I'm really not sure. Okay, so our starter boats are usually actually quite large. In this situation, I don't want that to be the case. So we're going to try and make this one uh, like a little dinghy. If you guys don't know what a dinghy is, it's like a little blow-up boat that you'd take to like, I don't know, the beach or... Uh, I don't know. I don't, something like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get ourselves a driver's seat. That is pretty good. We're going to need ourselves an engine of some sort. The only engine we actually have is this one, so we're going to use this. Um, but we are going to have to poke it out the back a little bit more and shove it on there like this. A little bit weird, but I think it'll work out. So, this needs fuel, it also needs exhaust, it needs an air supply, and it needs some coolant too. So, for the coolant, let's just go ahead and have it go into the water, like we always do. There we go, nice. Uh, we're going to get ourselves some fluid ports, smash those on the bottom like this. Bam, there we go. Um, and then the rest of it is relatively easy to do. So, tank? I believe we do have access to a medium one. Okay, the medium tank, which is our fuel tank, is actually going to go on the front. Yeah, seems a bit odd, but I think it'll be fine. Okay, so in order for this to work then, we actually are going to go ahead and send things down into the front end. So this is going to go downwards like this. We're then going to have it get sent backwards. But in order to do that, we're going to need an angled piece. There we go. And that's going to send all the way backwards to there and go up through there. Uh, which, yes, it is a bit weird. But hopefully this is going to work out. I think it will. So that's going to go up there like so. Let's go and attach this guy directly onto there. Excellent. We'll then go with our normal pipes, bring it upwards. Very nice. And then the fuel is obviously on this side. So we can angle this this way, attach that directly onto there. And that is awesome. This side is the exhaust, so we're just going to go ahead and send that up into the sky. And this one is the air. So the air is going to come in there. Do we actually have an exhaust pipe? We do! Hey, look at that. And that is it. The engine is now successfully complete. And all we need to do is attach the power, which is this bit, to the uh, propeller, which we don't currently have. We break up and you slam the door. I messed up on the bedroom floor. What the hell do we do this for? I push you out, but you come back. That attraction, we can't fight that. Oh, keep telling myself that I should let go. But I hold on. And oh, keep telling myself that I should move on. But I don't. Cause we got that mad love. We got that sad. Okay, so uh, obviously I've gone ahead and built the entire boat, uh, but hopefully this will actually work out. So we'll spawn it in, we'll see if it floats. Indeed it does. 
Uh, I wasn't expecting this to float very well, but honestly, this looks okay. This actually looks fine. Um, so with this boat, I'm expecting to be able to rescue some people. So I guess, actually, let's go ahead and try and put some seats on this. Do we start with passenger seats? We do little padded seats. Excellent. We're going to go and shove two of those right there. We're going to go and shove two of those. Actually, no, we'll do it on the front. So right there. Let's do this and this. And there we go. I'm actually really happy with that. So we can actually transport four guys. Excellent. Yes. Um, what kind of equipment do we start with? All right, okay, so fire extinguisher, very important. Uh, I don't actually know where I'm going to put this, but I'm thinking in here would be a good idea. So that's going to start on this side. Uh, the other side, we're obviously going to go with a welder, because that's really important too. And the other thing that is extremely important is these guys, the first aid kits. They are so, 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 so important. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and put four of them on here. Yeah, it, they are that important. There we go, and there we go. Nice. All right, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly paint this, and then we're going to go ahead and see if there's a mission to do. Okay, so there we go. Let's go ahead and save this as career mode. Actually, hardcore. Hardcore career mode uh, boat one. There we go. Hardcore career mode boat one. Sure. We're not going to go ahead and spawn in yet because... Oh, no, we do have a mission. We do. Oh, what is this? Already, there might be a tsunami. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, right, okay. I'm going to try and find the emergency with binoculars before I go out there in a boat. Because I feel like that makes the most sense. Although, what is this? That is rescuing one person to... Oh, Oh, but the safe zones are actually miles away. All right, let's go ahead and get in our boat and get going. Okay, everybody ready? Let's, uh, oh no, it's, it won't actually start because I didn't put a starter on it. That's really dumb. Uh, right, hotkey one is going to be to start the engine. Hotkey two is going to be for reverse because we currently don't have one, but we will. Uh, let's go ahead and label that. So one is engine. Here we go. And two is reverse. There we go. All right, I think that's it. I think that's all of the controls that we need are actually ready to go. Uh, and that should be fine. I do think the engine RPS is something we should be looking at a little bit. But, um, yeah, not sure. Okay, here we are. Is this boat going to work? Let's see. All right, we're starting the engine. We've throttled up. Okay. I mean, it moves. Is it moving fast enough? You know what? Yes, it is. Oh, this is actually working really nicely. That's fantastic. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Cancel, cancel. No, please don't end up upside down already. Oh, this is bogeys, man. This is bogeys. Unfortunately, I can't actually reset it either. So I'm going to have to, like, send it back over there by swimming into it. Oh, this is ridiculous. This happens to me all the time. So what actually happened there is we ended up going too fast. That's insane. Um, but yes, that is the case. Anyway, uh, I'm going to have to push this back over there. And then we'll have to modify this a little bit. And then we'll try again. Okay, so we managed to get it back. Uh, fortunately, you can actually return it back to the, uh, the build area. Because it reaches actually really far out, which is quite nice. Anyway, um, I have added one block of weight to the bottom of this thing, and it has decided that that is pretty much enough to sink it, which is really weird. But one thing that I am thinking might be a good idea is to actually drop these guys down, uh, because essentially we don't do anything with the floor anyway. So if we were to cut these and drop them down into the bottom, something like this, which yes is weird because it goes through the bottom of the boat, um, we might be fine. It might actually be a good idea. I mean, it's sort of not, but like, it might be. <laughs> uh, so if we deleted that and we deleted this right here, we can actually do a bit of a pipe that goes from there downwards uh, like this, there we go, and into there, which, um, yeah, makes sense. We can then get rid of the weight block that I've added, and put this right here, and essentially, we sink. Um, no, why does it sink now? Why does it sink? Uh, that doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, oh, 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 because I've opened up the side. Okay, so if we go ahead and do this... There we go. We go to the other side and we do this. Now it should float. 
Um, and be good, too. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. We just got to make sure that we don't over rev it, over speed it or anything like that, because then we will flip over again, which is something we don't want to do. But yeah, we need to get out to this first mission. So let's jump aboard. Press one. Off we go. Yeah, so we just sort of don't want it to go too fast. Otherwise, we are going to have some serious issues again, because it will flip over again. Also, my uh, steering is um, inverted, which is annoying. Uh, right here, we've got our fuel. That's nice. Okay, cool. And then right here, we've got our engine temperature, which, again, is pretty good. That's okay. All right, good. We just got to find our first mission and do it. Okay, so if we have a little look at the map, we can actually see where we are in this version, which is nice. Uh, and I believe we are in the circle, which yes, we are. Uh, and I can actually see the boat over there. I'm not sure what our job is, um, but let's go ahead and try and rescue the guys, I guess. Hopefully it's not towing. Oh, and I forgot my cardinal sin. This is something that I do every single time I do career mode. I forget to add a rope anchor to my boat. That is honestly, if you're only going to do one thing, that is the one thing that you should do. Because if I flip over or whatever all the way out here, I've got no way of returning this back. Uh, because I don't actually have uh, my goals unlocked yet, so that would be the only other way. Which is really annoying. Anyway, let's go ahead and slow ourselves down. Here we go. Drop this to pretty much zero. And yeah, we can go ahead and pick up the guy and get out of here. This is cool. I like my little dinghy. It's kind of nice. Okay, so I've grabbed a dude. Here we go. Let's go ahead and shove him on the side, uh, if we can. Oh. There we go. Nice. And then we can go back home uh, pretty easily, hopefully. So throttle this up a little bit. Throttle this up a little bit, too. We'll do this on like 55. That's okay. And off we go. Brilliant. Okay, so we have actually made it back with our first uh, passenger, which is nice. Uh, how much fuel did we use? Not very much at all. So, yeah, this thing is... A pretty decent little vehicle, actually. We're gonna we're gonna be able to use this quite a bit. Uh, I would say that the steering is inverted because it is, so we need to fix that. But um, other than that, it's actually it's it's not bad. It's not bad whatsoever. Let's go ahead and jump off here. Yes, we'll run up here. Come on. And uh, yeah, we got to take this guy to hospital, which ah uh, this is really annoying because it's actually on the land and it's over there. We got to run there with this guy. Super annoying. Anyway, let's go ahead and pick this up. Let's save it the way that it currently is. There we go. And let's run this guy to hospital. All right, so before I deliver this guy, we are going to go ahead and heal him up because that will get us a little bit more money. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're going to deliver you. Excellent. To, oh, almost 3,000 for, wait, why is he worth so much? Maybe AI is worth different amounts now. Oh, that'd be cool. Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and search the hospital. For some reason, there are no lights in these back rooms. Uh, oh, actually, there is a light in this room, but there's no lights in these ones. Don't get it. Don't understand. Doesn't matter. Anyway, wait, actually. No, that's the lights for this room. Interesting. Uh, I want to have a little look around really quickly. Maybe just around the back side, just to see if there's a crate back here. Unfortunately, there is not... Uh, but that's all right. So, uh, what I'm going to do now is go to sleep. Here we go. We're going to sleep through the night. Hopefully in the morning we'll get a new mission or whatever. Uh, and we can go from there. But yeah, I need to run all the way back to our base now. So, as soon as we can, I want to research wheels. <laughs> that's like the first thing I want to research. Land vehicles. Uh, unfortunately, we are one point off that. That sucks. Like, we're so close, but we're so far away. Uh, and the main reason for that is just so that we can drive from our, uh, like, our harbor over to the hospital to drop people off. That's the only reason I want wheels right now. Annoying. Okay, so we actually ended up making it back. That is uh, lovely. So, uh, this is our current boat. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of it. Do you think it sucks? Do you think it's okay? Um, I want it to go different to how we normally build boats, and this is the different. Um, I built a rib. I don't know. I think I like it, but at the same time, it is not as uh, practical as maybe it could be. Uh, but that doesn't really matter. Anyway, um, I think I am actually going to end this video here for now. 
very um, soon, we're actually going to go ahead and build like a starter boat oil tanker. Uh, so that we can actually go from here up to there to actually buy some oil, uh, to buy some diesel, I guess, uh, and bring it back. That's what I really, really want to do. There's also an oil deposit there. I've not done any oil drilling, so I kind of want to figure that out too. But um, yeah, for now, this is okay. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, I'm going to end this video here for now. Um, oh, actually, before we do finish, I want to ask you guys whether I should do some missions and get some money and get some research points whilst not recording, um, just to speed up time a little bit. Uh, we'll get a little bit further in the series a little bit quicker or not. Let me know. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.